2018 has been a tough year for Mark Zuckerberg. Facebook got a thumb down in April this year after the Cambridge Analytica scandal and Zuckerberg has been at the receiving end since then. Once the data leak scandal cooled down, another one hit the social network side, fake news and misinformation and one team of Facebook is now struggling to fight that off. Good to have you with us. We'll wait for that stop. Surrounded by 22 lawmakers from over half a dozen countries, Facebook's vice president found himself at the receiving end of a long session of interrogation. As Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg decided to skip grilling on fake news, Richard Allen faced parliamentarians at the House of Commons in London. Called the Grand Committee on Disinformation, this team intended to grill Zuckerberg on fake news and the data misuse scandals. But Zuckerberg snubbed the hearing, leaving his deputy to face the fire. Upset lawmakers expressed their disappointment by sending a message. They left an empty chair with Zuckerberg's name printed on a place card in front of it. MPs from eight different parliaments have been calling on Mark Zuckerberg to testify and he's re refused repeatedly. He even refused to do it via video link. So we brought a fake Mark Zuckerberg here to highlight the epidemic of fake news and fake accounts that are spreading on these platforms. It's high time for Mark Zuckerberg and regulators to fix Facebook and all these social media giants. We've never seen anything quite like Facebook where while we were playing on our phones and apps, our democratic institutions, our form of civil conversation, seem to have been upended by frat boy billionaires from California. So Mr. Zuckerberg's decision not to appear here at Westminster to me speaks volumes. Facebook's vice president was faced with several questions. Did they know about the data misuse? Did they ignore warning signs? And did they intentionally hide information from the users? The Facebook vice president admitted that the company damaged public interest. I'm not going to disagree with you that we've damaged public trust through some of the actions we've taken. Um, again, just for the record on the uh, issue of the hiring of this outside firm, Mr Zuckerberg himself said that was not what he expected of us. He was not personally responsible for the hiring. Elliot Schrake, uh, who runs policy and comms at Facebook, has publicly uh, stated that he was responsible uh, and takes responsibility for it. But it's not just Facebook that is fighting fake news. Twitter is too. A new study has found that bots are widely used to disseminate misinformation. The study points to how bots amplify low credibility content in the early hours of it being published. Bots heavily tweet links to such articles before they go viral. They also target influential handers through replies and mentions. Misinformation spread by bots is then tweeted, retweeted and promoted by high-profile users. This study analysed 14 million tweets over 10 months, but experts believe that the same could be applied to other social media sites, including Facebook. And in a world which increasingly depends on social media, the challenge is only going to get harder. Bureau Report, we on World is One.